So before talking about basic I/O operations against files to read data from um, and then process, uh, we have to set up data set for our usage. So for that, you can actually go to the browser and go to my GitHub repository. You can go to github.com slash dgadiraju. This is my GitHub account. Okay, let me paste this so that uh, you see comfortably. Make sure you don't have any typos when I give this path. Okay, so this is my GitHub account. Okay, and in my GitHub account, so I'm closing this out. In my GitHub account, there's a repository called data. You can click on this repository. And if you're familiar with Git, you can do the Git clone using this URL or you can click on download zip, which will download the entire repository, which will have these directories um, into the, uh, as a zip file on your machine. You can unzip on whatever location you want. So in my case, I have unzipped in my home directory of my Mac, there is a directory called research, there is a directory called data, and you can see the retail DB here, and you can see the directories here. From here, if you have Scala or Python, you can uh, use the appropriate APIs uh, to pass this location, uh, and then you, you process the data. On the lab, I have connected to the lab already, so if you have subscription to the lab, uh, the repositories are already set up for you. You don't need to uh, set up on your uh, home directory on the lab if you have active subscription to the lab. So the location will be slash data slash retail DB. This is the directory where I have one of the data sets. For example, if you go to my GitHub uh, data repository, there is a directory called retail underscore db and there is nyc lca etc so everything under data uh, repository is actually cloned into this location okay slash data you can see nyc retail db cards whatever you see here in the github repository you can see here and then you have retail underscore db and retail underscore db have several directories which uh, simulates a data model and we will start using this data set going forward. So if you don't uh, have active subscription to the lab, make sure you set up the repository uh, on your PC and make sure you understand the path where you have the files and then you can use it um, as a demonstrate using the, these data sets on the lab um, on your PC, okay? So if I say use order items data set on lab, this will be the path. Okay, on my local PC, now I'm exiting from the lab. I'm back to my local PC and uh, I can access the file system from the terminal also. So the location of my data locally is this one. Okay, so same thing what I'm showing on the lab, I can also run on my PC if I have Scala or Python on, on my PC and uh, I can start processing the data. So make sure you set up the data and um, make necessary changes to the path uh, in line with your uh, locations on your PC, if you are using your PC or any other environment um, uh, for exploring this, uh, uh, this stuff hands-on, the way I'm demonstrating on the lab. So that being said, as part of the next video, we will actually see how we can read data from files from these locations and then perform certain IO operations uh, and also some MapReduce operations on top of it.